Rockwell, open the door of the police. Open the door, we'll break it in. Well, he's gone. Some little girl's gonna have a broken heart when she discovers her doll was left behind. We better check at the airport. He might have chartered a plane. ride around much longer, darling. Now look, why don't you try and go to sleep? And then tomorrow morning you'll wake up in your nice new home. But I don't want to go to sleep. I'm scared. But there's nothing to be afraid of, darling. But can't we go home? Well, of course you can, dear. I'll go up and talk to the man. Where are we, pilot? I don't know, somewhere over the jungle. That's not very definite. You might as well know the truth, we're in trouble. We're off our course, the radio's dead. We can't you land someplace until this storm is over? Nothing but jungle down there. We're not equipped to land on top of a tree. Better go back to your seat and fasten your safety belt. The storm is giving this old girl a lot of trouble, and I don't know how long she can take it. Why are you putting that on us? With this on, there won't be anything to be afraid of, dear. Well, what's the delay? We gotta find that wrecked plane. Oh, my God. 
little monkey. Don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. Come back, little monkey. Well, you sure got a nasty bump. Took me half the night to bring you to. How we ever got through these trees alive is a miracle I'll never understand. stuff. Won't do you much good here in the jungle. Yes, I know it, but I'm going to hang on to it just the same. I'll see if I can get the radio working. Might be some chance of getting out of here. Doreen. 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 Find out anything about that stranger, Marie? No. He asked many questions, but he said nothing about himself. Oh, do you think maybe he is with the police? He could be. I don't want the law snooping around here, neither do you. You come from the China coast yourself. Go over there and keep him interested while I have a look through his room. And remember, it's business, not pleasure. Mm. Sometimes business is a pleasure. Is it 
something important you are thinking about? I am Marie. I'm sorry, my mind was miles away. What did you say? I said, uh, what is it that is so important you're thinking about? You are in love, maybe? <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. Or maybe you plan on a safari? Mm -mm. To hunt for ivory? Mm -mm. Can I depend on you to keep a secret? Oh, I would love to keep a secret. Well, I expect very soon to find the lost gold mines of King Solomon. King Solomon? Who is he? A long time ago, he was a very great king. Had a thousand wives. Oh, a thousand wives. <laughs> well, he needs plenty of gold mines. <laughs> I ran into a bit of a nuisance up the Alabango country. The natives absolutely refused to enter a certain district. They said it belonged to a powerful white witch that was born of a great bird that fell from the sky. <laughs> I beg your pardon. I'm very interested in native beliefs. I happen to overhear your conversation. Could you tell me some more about this white witch? Oh, I'm sorry, but they were rather vague about it. Uh -huh. The jungle animals are supposed to obey her commands, and it's sure death to enter her domain, that's all I know. Well, can you tell me where she lives? Well, somewhere in the Alambango Mountains. Sorry I can't give you the address and the telephone number. <laughs> I guess I would be asking you too much. Thanks, just the same. Okay. <laughs> What's going on here? It looks as if we're about to have a murder. What's this all about? This man is my enemy. He tried to kill me before. He said I have witchcraft that make his brother die. That's enough of this silly rot about witchcraft. If I have any more trouble from you, I'll put you on irons until I can turn you over to the district police. I can keep order around here without any help from the police. Go on, go on about your business. It's one. It's very foolish to interfere with these native squabbles. They have a code of their own which few white men understand. And murder to me is the same in any language. Is he? I've never seen him before. His name is Gorman, that's all I know. Well, why would he be so interested in the native yarns about a white witch? I couldn't tell you. Did you want to see me? Yes, Buana. You saved Tobo's life, and I want to do something very good for you. Oh, uh, that won't be necessary, Tobo. I can tell you where you find the great white witch. You can? Yes, Buana. I saw what my people call the great bird that fell from the sky. It was not a bird. It was a house with wings. I thought this was the magic that made it fly. But maybe I do not know how to work the magic. I held it in my hand and jumped from the high place. But I did not fly. I hit the ground very hard. <laughs> it wasn't magic that made it fly, it was an engine. Tobo, can you, can you tell me how to find this house with wings? Just for one. It is in the Alumbango mountain, not far from the village where I live. 
You can do something for me. You tell me how to get there. I'll make a map. It will be very easy at first until you come to the jungle. Well, where do we stand? telling the stranger how to make a map and he said something about a house with wings that fell out the sky. You sure about that? I heard him say so. That's very interesting. That is a very bad jungle. You cannot go without a safari. You will get lost and die. I'll manage all right. I don't want a safari. Oh, I hope I'm not intruding. No, no, not at all. I was wondering if you plan to do any shooting. Possibly my, uh, my plans are somewhat indefinite. Well, if I can be of any help, don't hesitate to let me know. Thanks very much. I'll keep that in mind. Also, keep in mind that the natives have a lively imagination. You better take most of their yarns with a liberal supply of salt. I hear you were quite interested in some fantastic story about a white witch. Witches are a dime a dozen. The jungles are full of them. It is true about the white witch, Buwana. Many men have gone into that country and never came back. <laughs> you came back, Tobo. Yes, but that was many years ago, when the witch was just a little child. A little child? Have you told any other white men about this, this house with wings? Yes, Buwana. I have told about it, but no one would believe me. Then you do not believe me, too. Why, sure, sure, I believe you, Tobo. I should be able to find this wrecked plane. This map makes it clear enough. Then I will go with you. That will be necessary. You've done enough already by giving me this information. The jungle is a very bad place for a white man alone. After a while, he will begin to think that death is near him all the time. But he cannot see it. And this will make him afraid until that is the only thing he can think about. And it drives him crazy. I have known that to happen.
What's the row? Open up. What's going on? Sounded like a riot in here. I must have had a nightmare. I thought I was fighting a lion or something. Sorry, of course, all this excitement. From the looks of the room, it must have been a whale of a nightmare. <laughs> well, I'm glad it was only a dream. I was afraid that native porter was out for revenge. I'm sure it was only a dream. Well, in that case, I'll go back to bed. Not a bad idea. Good night. Good night. I'll try to dream more quietly the next time. Tobo, help me clean up the room, will you? Yes, Buena. You know, Tobo, somebody tried to steal this map. Then it was not a dream? I'll say it wasn't a dream. Somebody tried to murder me. Do you know who it was? No, it was too dark. I couldn't see his face. <laughs> well, they won't get another chance. I'm getting out of here tonight. I go with you, Buana. All right, Tobo. If I find what I'm looking for, it'll be well worth your while. You saved my life. That is fair enough. Good boy. Come get ready. Hurry up. Hey, you. Give me a safari and a boy that's good at following a trail. Cal, why do you want a safari? Gorman left last night. I'm going to follow him. I go with you. I don't need you. Oh, is that so? What about his promises you made me if I come here? I would like to see all this money you are talking about. All right, get ready. I might need you thick. That way, Buena.
That was sure, Crossman. How'd you know he was there? When you live in jungle all your life, you know those things. I don't take your word for it. Sure an ugly customer. Now, come on, let's get out of here. Cross the river, Tobo? Yes, Buana. I think we'll try to find bridge of vines made by jungle tribe. No, no, that may take weeks. We'll swim it. Get some logs. We'll make a raft to keep our things dry. Good. Double, follow me. You'll never get to the other side by standing there. Hurry up. I come now. Tobo, you'll never win a prize swimming that way.
Ragnar can sure give you a workout. One I used to save my life again. Ah, uh, you had more sense than I did. I should have taken your advice. Come on, let's get dressed. place you're looking for, Tobo? Yes, Buana. It is not far enough to the house with wings. That is the country of the White Witch. White Witch, White Witch. I'm getting tired of hearing that name. Are you afraid of that White Witch? No, I am not afraid. That's good, because white men don't believe in magic. They know it's only imagination. Maybe you are right, but I do not know. I'm sorry, Tobo. <laughs> Come on. They're afraid of the white witch. I have heard of her. Well, if you go on, I'll double what I promised you. Three times as much. Boys, no go. Why not? This part of the jungle is no more dangerous than any other. Land of the white witch, taboo. We no go. What will you do now? Well, I'll follow him by myself. You wait here till I come back. Oh, no. I go with you. Maybe you find lots of money and you don't come back here anymore. Don't you trust me? I don't trust anyone. What about the white witch? Aren't you afraid of her? I'm not afraid. All right, come on. Tobo, maybe you should have gone back. This is liable to be more dangerous than I thought. Where you go, I go, Buana. Don't move. If you stand still, it won't charge. This is a place, Buana, but it has been a long time. There it is, the house with wings. was someone who came here hunting for something, like us. I don't think so. He probably died at the time of the crash. Tobo, I might as well tell you the whole story. 
The money I expected to find here was stolen by a man named Stockwell. It was a great deal of money. My dad was accused of having helped him to escape. Well, the disgrace caused my father to commit suicide. All he was trying to do was to protect the people who had trusted him with their money. Well, a long time ago, I made up my mind to do all I could to get that money back again. And to make Stockwell answer for his crime. I'm sorry this happened to your father. What you do now if you don't find the money? Well, I still might have a chance of finding it. If Stockwell's young daughter wasn't killed at the time of the crash, it might be possible to achieve the cause of all these stories about a mysterious white witch that was born of a great bird that fell from the sky. This would look like a big bird to anyone who'd never seen a plane before. Maybe I should find something for us to eat. We have little left. You go ahead, Joe. I'm going to stay here. Hurry back. I sprained my ankle. Oh, now, let me help you off with your boots. No, no, you go on. Stick on Gorman's trail so we don't lose him. I'll follow you the best way I can. Well. Now, go on, will you? I'll be all right. Well, all right.
Is anybody home? Thanks. Uh, uh, you must be the white witch I've, I've heard so much about. I'm Doreen. Why do you think I'm a witch? I can't believe it myself, but after the way you handled him, I, I can believe almost anything. Well, I understand them. They understand me. They're not all the same. Some are nice and some won't be friendly. Sort of put me in a spot. I didn't expect to run up against a troop of trained wild animals. Can we, uh, can we sit over there? Yeah. Thanks. This is a lot better. What's the matter? I need a shave? Who are you? And why are you so pale instead of being dark like other men? Uh, I'm not supposed to be dark. Don't you know that some men are white? Remember, I did see white men when I was very small. My father was white like you. Your father? Where is your father? I don't know. He didn't come back one day, and I never saw him again. <laughs> you know, I don't like the way he looks at me. Well, Samson won't hurt you unless I tell him to. Samson? That's a good name for the lug. Why do you call him that? Father said he should be named Samson. I've always called him that. What's your father's name? His name is Father. I told you that. No, no, I don't mean that. What's your last name? Stockwell? My name is Doreen, that's all. I never saw anyone like you before. <laughs> I like to look at you. You're not exactly hard to look at yourself. If you're hungry, I can give you something to eat. Well, yes, I... What good is food when you can't digest it? I understand your words, but I don't know what you mean. Uh, Doreen. Doreen, don't go too far. <laughs> I'm glad Samson didn't kill you. That makes it unanimous. Do you like me? Yes, indeed, very much. Hey, those, those are pretty stones you're wearing. Have you got any more of them? Oh, I have lots of them. Where are they? I keep them in a place where Father put them. He said no one must ever know where they are. Yeah, you know, I'd, I'd like to see the rest of them. They're all as pretty as these. <laughs> Samson, stop! Go away! I've seen everything in the way of a chaperone. What's a chaperone? A chaperone? Well, a chaperone is a kibitzer who sticks around when two people want to be alone. Why would two people want to be alone? Well, two people want to be alone because... 
You know, that's a kind of an involved question. It will take a long time for Luce's explanation and taking everything into consideration. I think we'd better just forget the whole thing. When you talk, sometimes I can understand what you say, and sometimes it's just like the monkey's chatter. I can't understand what they're talking about either. <laughs> I hope you'll stay here all the time. Why, that's very nice, but I, I think that I just... I can always find plenty to eat. You can sleep there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, I think I'd better sleep outside. I, I can't sleep well, you know, if, they, if I don't have a lot of fresh air. All right, then. Sleep in the trees with the monkeys if you want to. No, no, I'll, I'll get a tree of my own. I, I don't want to bother the monkeys. Uh, are you are you sure that Samson is, knows that I'm supposed to be treated as the guest here? Would you like to sit close to me? Well, yes, I'd like to. On, on second thought, I don't think I want to worry Samson. Oh, well, don't be afraid of Samson. I won't let him hurt you. Are you sure that he knows that? Of course. Go away. Bad, bad news always shows up at the, the right time, doesn't it? Father always wanted Samson to kill people. He was afraid to let anyone come here. But I'm not afraid of you. I think you're nice. Oh, I hope nothing ever happens to make you want to change your mind. Doreen, can I make you understand something? I'll try. I understand nearly everything you tell me. <laughs> That's good. You see, I've traveled a long way and hunted a long time for those pretty stones of yours and the rest of the things your father brought here. I want to take them all back to the people they belong to. Well, they belong to me. Father said so. But don't you see your father had no right to give them to you because they didn't belong to him? I don't understand. That's what I'm trying to make you understand. You see, it wasn't right for your father to take those things. That's why he ran away and was afraid to have anybody come here. He was afraid because he'd, he'd be found and, and punished for what he'd done. Let's talk about something else. Oh, I'm sorry, Doreen, but this is very important to me. I've got to make you understand. I'll try, but I don't think I can. You see, all those pretty stones represent a fortune stolen from people who worked very, very hard to get it. Now, why don't you do the right thing and give them back to them? No. Father said they were all mine. You've never been taught the difference between right and wrong. Oh, I wish I could do something to make you understand. Father said I must keep all these things. And I won't give them to anyone. Oh, let's not talk about it anymore. Oh, but we will talk about it some more. Don't you see, Doreen, we can't hurt your father now. He's beyond the reach of the law. And you won't be held responsible for his crime. But whether you like it or not, I'm going to take that stolen fortune back to the people it rightfully belongs to. And I'm not going to let a stubborn little savage like you stand in my way. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to tell you that I'm going to take that stuff back. Take it back with or without your permission. If you do, I'll call Samson. I'd like to wring that pretty little neck of yours. I like you. Let's not fight anymore. Then you let me take it back? No, it belongs to me. So we don't have to keep fighting about it all the time. He'll kill her. Do something. Did you hear what I said? No, Sam, no! Don't make so much noise. Nobody's going to kill you. And why'd you come here? Well, maybe I am foolish to do this. 
But I did not want him to kill you. Who wants to kill me and why? Tal Hurst. He heard that you are after a lot of money, and he planned to kill you when you come back. So I hired a safari to follow and warn you. But the natives, they refused to enter the land of the White Witch. So I come on by myself. Don't give me that. You didn't come here alone. Oh, I thought that maybe... Maybe you could like me a little bit more if I do this for you. <laughs> Now, you better go back to where you came from. Oh, wait! I'm afraid of that gorilla! He won't hurt you, not after she's told him not to. And suppose she tell him different, what then? He'd tear you to pieces. Oh, is this the reason why you haven't got the money? That's right. Why don't you shoot him? I couldn't do that, not after the way he's looked after that girl. Oh, you could build a trap to hold him. I have seen the way they do that. Why are you so anxious to help me? I'd like some of that money myself. How do you go about building a trap? Get out of here. I don't see you. Harry. How are you doing that? I'm... I'm building a safe place to sleep. Leopard can't sneak up on a fellow at night. Well, if you're afraid of the leopards, why don't you sleep in the cave? Funny sleeping place if you want to. I don't care. This ought to hold him.
over here, Marie. Everything is fine. Garmin hasn't found the money. It was guarded by a gorilla. You call that good? Why, sure. We trapped the gorilla. Come on out of here before Garmin finds the money and gets away. Thanks for saving me a lot of trouble. I'll take that if you don't mind. I don't see as I can do anything about it. He won't bother us anymore. Let's go by that wrecked plane and pick up my equipment. See what we picked up. Well, let's pack up and get out of here. To me, give it back. Come on, Kyle. We've got a long ways to go. What's your hurry? Maybe the jungle goddess would like to go with us. I already know she won't. What do you want to do? Kill me? Now you get out of here. If I ever see you again, I'll break your neck. Now go on. Not so fast. That belongs to me. I'll take care of it for you, honey. You know, you and me could do all right in the States. <laughs>
dead. Perhaps it's better this way. We couldn't have taken him with us. Where are we going? Back home. You're going to help me right a great wrong. I'm sure you'll be very happy. <laughs> <laughs> 